Welcome back to Coding Kaiju, my name is Diego. Godot has OpenXR support. For those who don't know, virtual reality, VR, has been sort of a wild west for developers. Every developer has had to manually connect their games to every company's proprietary VR headset API. OpenXR provides a single cross-platform API that works with all conformant devices. You only need to make your game once, and it should theoretically work with all major VR headset brands. OpenXR support is coming to Godot 3.3 as a plugin. It has been tested with Oculus and SteamXR ecosystems on Windows, and SteamXR and Monado on Linux. Android support is still in an experimental phase. The plugin is not yet available in the Godot asset library, but you can try out the latest build from the Godot VR GitHub repository releases page. At the moment, the Godot team is actually having trouble supporting the Microsoft HoloLens since it only supports DirectX. This is an issue since Godot is an OpenGL-based engine. Godot 4.0 will use Vulkan, and it's not yet known if Microsoft will introduce native Vulkan support. The Godot team is looking for help regarding this issue, so if you have any experience, go ahead and contact them. The Godot 3.2.4 update has been renamed to Godot 3.3. There's so many new features coming to the update, including some that have been backported from Godot 4.0, that the developers thought it was appropriate to release it as Godot 3.3 instead. Shellfur is an add-on for Godot that provides impressive hair and fur simulations. There's tons of customization options to find the right balance between detail and performance. The fur even responds to movement and physics. You can find the shell fur add-on in the Godot asset library. A new proposal has appeared on Godot's GitHub. Redas has created an improved 3D scene importer. The new 3D scene importer has advanced options, including the option to customize every node, material, mesh, and animation individually. They also added the ability to replace materials from an external file, which is a very welcome change. This improved 3D scene importer is milestone for Godot 4.0. Cassette Beasts is an indie open-world RPG where you collect awesome monster forms to use during turn-based battles. Combine any two monster forms using Cassette Beasts' fusion system to create unique and powerful new monsters. Silk Road's Caravan Kings is a solo-developed indie game that puts you in control of a journey through a foreign world scarcely explored in popular media, including the famous Mongolian steppes, the sandy deserts of Arabia, and the wet jungles of India, and the civilized empire of China. Hungry Knots is a fast-paced, bite-sized local multiplayer game for two players and supports controls on one keyboard or using two controllers. Windward Rush is an arcade racing game where players fly jets and collect power-ups to help them gain an edge on their opponents. Saturn is an infinite twin-stick shooter done in a retro arcade art style. Links for everything will be down in the description. Like, subscribe, thanks for watching.